Schnitzel. Uh, Ohio. Same system as before. Uh, I'm going to talk about yesterday. Today is day six instead of day five um, because I was too tired last night. And you know, same as same as I've done before. But I'm not going to use my DS this time as a camera because it, the quality just was so bad. Yesterday was incredible. It was so awesome. We had. It was, it was basically the tech day, unlike Electric City, which was kind of a shot, another shopping day. Um, and what we did, the first thing we did was we went to, we went to the Mir Mirai Gan Science Museum, um, Museum of Emerging Science and Innovation, blah, 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 blah. Uh, it's the, it's the, um, It's a museum that stores Asimo, the robot that can actually do stuff. It's incredible. But that, but although Asimo was supposed to be an attraction, all he really did was walk out, kick a ball, and dance. And although that's incredible for a robot, the other exhibits were more amazing. We there was stuff like uh, there was a Google. Um, Google Street View car, the self-driving cars. There was a, um, a, project, a globe that projected different views of the world on it, like electricity or population or stuff like that. There was an international space station and a submarine, and there was um, Google Doodle, which hopefully I can still do in Britain because they don't do it in Britain. I don't know where you can find it in Britain. Maybe I'll have to send it off to Miss Yamaguchi's grandparents. I bought myself a tiny little uh, magnetic Asimo toy. The magnets at the back there. It came with a pen. It's supposed to be the pen came with that, but I decided that came with the pen. Because that's just so cool compared to the pen, which is just, you know, a normal pen with Asimo written on the side. After that, we had lunch, and I just had a rice ball because I need I wanted to make up for the money that I lost or lost buying this Asimo doll because I want I wanted to buy something really good like a really good gift, but there was everything was either too expensive or too big because we'd have to carry it around for the whole day and the whole of today as well because our suitcases have been sent on to the next location. This, this is my, uh, my receipt from shopping. They have little drawings at the bottom of their receipts. It's quite cool. We went to Docomo, Japan's biggest mobile phone company. We saw their corporate tech demo. So it's the tech demo they give to uh, corporations about their tech. So they could, like, investors. Prospect investors. So first thing we did was we went through technologies that already exist. The boring ones, like, or boring ones. Like, um, they had a breathalyzer, breathalyzer. yeah, thanks for that. Hooked up to a, a fern, just so it could set alcohol consumption level to people. Apparently, that was already out in hundreds of different companies, but it seems kind of like, it seems like it's already been done. I think, I guess the thing is it's on a phone, so you hook up to your own phone and then video call the other person. There was a, an emergency warning system that they were providing for free to all of their, uh, everyone registered with them. Because this is Japan, it's kind of emergency prone. Uh, so they are providing a, a service where they, Japan emergency deliverance system, and they send it to their, to the other phones simultaneously. Uh, they said there was a five second latency. They are, they also are doing um, NFC, um, Project Jarvis style locking of houses and also uh, controlling other appliances. But like I said, Project Jarvis have already been doing that for a few years now. But there was translation already been done. Yeah, that concludes the boring, boring part of the thing. 
all that technology had already been done. We were allowed to take photos if we were in, not encouraged, but we could. Now, the next bit was the bit, the uh, coming technologies section. The one, uh, their 2020 vision. 2020 vision, I didn't even really notice that. First thing they did was they showed us two videos, two videos of it. Um, number one was just of how they are... 4G wireless network coming out in December is going to be so incredible and connect people and how by 2020 everyone will be connected or something. The next one was of, of virtual reality stuff, so you grab stuff and you talk to people over the whole globe uh, as if they're really there and stuff. Uh, the stuff that people have been imagining for ages. I just thought it was 2020, yeah? Why not? And then they took us into the next room. They had a table and a screen, both projecting in 3D. It took me, uh, they gave us all 3D glasses. They gave one person uh, head tra eye tracking 3D glasses and finger tracking um, rings. Yeah, finger tracking rings. And um, to us, it looked like nothing much to but they they had for them it looked like a globe there was a globe on the table and they could spin it round with their hands and they could put their head inside it and they could tap the different options uh, for for the game effectively they were going to play and we went we went through it twice so as many people as possible could have a go but on the second time that we played um we played this game where you've got to design your own kimono. Um, ours was... It's a horrible design. But it's... Someone chose a carp, I think, and someone chose a tree. And then a waterfall. And that's the uh, postcard that they printed off. The press of printing times. It's proper glossy paper. They printed it in less than... Uh, Probably printed the moment they knew the what the things we'd chosen. The other group got uh, a pink one with dragons and fire and stuff. Much better, much 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 better. But the the tech itself was good. None of it had been, uh, none of it was new tech. It was it was all stuff they'd been done before. I guess the software was kind of was new, but. The hardware, I could build it at home for a thousand five hundred pounds if I really wanted to. Um, and then, then we went to the tallest building, and uh, not the tallest building. We went to a really tall government building. It had over fifty floors on it, and we uh, we went up the elevator. Our ears popped because it was going that fast. We, you could see the most beautiful views of uh, Japan, the skyline and stuff, just incredible. Uh, yeah. Also we we went to I think this place, this food place for our food called Shiba Shiba, where we, you cook your own food effectively, so they, they give you this pot uh, of boiling water and you just, you, you have beef or um, noodles or vegetables and you put them in there to cook and then you cook them by yourself. Also, concerning concerning food, I got my first bottle of hot lemonade. Uh, which my friends have been recommending for a while. It, delicious stuff. I'm not sure if it's better than hot chocolate. Certainly up there with, with the greats. Um, yeah. Yoija, you only live in Japan. You're only in Japan once. Today should be pretty good as well. We're going to uh, old Tokyo and looking at some temples. And we're going the Shinkansen. Finally, the fastest train, bullet train. Not the fastest train anymore. China overtook it. Um, but on the plus side, uh, I don't need to worry about money anymore.
because I was saving my money for at the Asimo Museum in Dokomo. But turns out there was no shop in Dokomo anyway. Unfortunately. Nah. So maybe I could buy a cheap phone. Say, sayonara.